I want to talk about Know Your Enemy and also specifically the Know Your Enemy manual. And I know it was mentioned several times in the media and in the trial, but there was no details given as to why it was originally formed or what it really was all about. Now, I'll probably touch on this topic several times because there is so much detail with regards to this. But basically, Know Your Enemy was formed by Rhea, but with the purpose of, and the sole purpose, and I stress that it was the sole purpose of forming Know Your Enemy was to help educate and inform other people in order to help them help others come out of the occult. So basically, with what Rhea was believed to be doing with Cecilia, trying to rescue her from the occult, and because it was such a, an extensive and time-consuming job, basically, there, and there was so many other people that needed to also be rescued. Uh, some of these people were fabricated by Cecilia, and some of these people were actually legitimate people. But now, because Cecilia basically, and was, a full-time job on her own, Rhea didn't have the time to help anybody else. So she formed uh, teaching classes to help other people, to educate other people, to help those who need to escape from the occult. Basically trying to help them understand all the ins and outs that they will have to go through in order to help rescue these people. She wanted to educate the people on what, uh, basically everything that uh, the occult does, um, with the way that they raise their children, to the way they hold rituals, to the way they basically function from start to finish. Uh, she needed to, and she wanted to, inform people as much as possible in every aspect, so that these people were very well prepared in order to help rescue others. There was no other alternative reason for this group from Rhea's perspective, uh, from Rhea's motives. However, now because Rhea was also still learning all the ins and outs about the occult, and mostly learning this from, well basically Cecilia, because it was a daily thing for her, she asked Cecilia to help write a manual. I mean, she gave Cecilia a long list of topics to cover, so Cecilia could then cover them with as much detail as possible because, I mean, Cecilia was supposedly raised in the occult and she was supposedly the most powerful witch in the world and every other bizarre claim that she had over her life. So who, would, who else would be better to, you know, help with information for this manual? And also, I mean, Cecilia was supposedly trying to escape from the occult, so there was an even more added reason. The only problem was, this whole story with Cecilia was a lie, so how on earth could Cecilia actually answer the questions? She couldn't. She had just uh, information from movies and things she had read on the internet and through various other sources. She did not have any personal first-hand information because it was all nonsense. This, is, this was not her life. So, without uh, diving just yet into how the manual was actually done, the one thing that Cecilia wanted to do was to copyright the manual into uh, Zena's name. Now, Zena was supposedly one of Cecilia's DID parts, and supposedly, supposedly one of Cecilia's strongest occult ability parts, and also supposedly one of her parts that was still attending occult rituals as an astral. Uh, and there were actually a large number of Cecilia's supposed DID parts who were supposedly still attending occult rituals throughout this time period. But the added reason for 
copywriting the manual into Zena's name was so that so that Rhea could not basically take the manual away from Cecilia. Cecilia wanted it completely to herself. She wanted full control. But she needed to do it indirectly. She did not want to put her name on it because she also did not want to be held directly responsible if anything, if there was any bad outcome um, after all of this. Because her name was not on the manual. So she could not be directly implicated. So who better to use than one of her fabricated parts, uh, one of her DID parts. She needed to maintain full control because Rhea and the rest of her group knew who Xena was and also she did not uh, she did not want to be completely or directly uh, linked or held responsible because I honestly think that she knew something bad was going to happen that there was going to be some kind of outcome where she would be held responsible and obviously she did not want that but now going back to the main reason why know your enemy was formed taking into account Rhea's sole reason for forming this group and needing a manual to be done that was not the main purpose at the end of the day because Cecilia took it in a different direction without Rhea even realizing it and honestly without any of us actually realizing it at that time point. In the beginning when Rhea started holding her Know Your Enemy classes Cecilia would actually attend some of them and Cecilia would become a highlight. She would be pointed out during the meeting and she was basically, and gladly she put herself on a mantle to basically say, look at me, I'm this supposed high witch who has successfully escaped from the occult. You should all take lessons from me. Look to me, I know the way. That was pretty much it. And through this, Cecilia started forming her group. This is actually how Cecilia met Mirinda, or rather how Mirinda was introduced into the group. Mirinda started, Mirinda originally wanted to learn to then go and help other people, but through this supposed good intention, because honestly by this point I don't know what to say or think about Mirinda with regards to some topics, but in attending the classes she ended up meeting Cecilia and obviously Cecilia saw how um, easy Mirinda was to manipulate, how easy Mirinda was to use. So Mirinda was very, very quickly embedded into Cecilia's group. And as time went on, various other members uh, that, or various other people that went to the Know Your Enemy classes also ended up in Cecilia's group because Cecilia deemed them as basically benefic beneficial to whatever she needed. I mean, by the time I left, she had someone who worked basically in the emergencies for a hospital. She had someone who worked with law. She had someone basically for every avenue uh, of life or every avenue of need if she ever needed, if that makes sense. So without Rhea even realizing it, Know Your Enemy was actually used to recruit people into Cecilia's group. And I know wholeheartedly that if Rhea honestly knew that this is what was going on, Rhea would have closed or stopped this, this group and the teachings and everything right there and then. But she honestly had no idea. None of us did. There was eventually, uh, or should I say, eventually there came a time point where Rhea started to realize things. And that's when Know Your Savior was formed. And Know Your Enemy was pretty much done away with. But that I'll also talk about in another audio. And also added with 
these people who came into Cecilia's group because of the Know Your Enemy classes, these people came in with the mindset of bracing themselves for anything occult related. So this became extremely easy for Cecilia to manipulate these people. I mean, she was on a mantle or in a high point where people would look to her for answers. Uh, she was the person that, that everyone would go to if for anything because people who were joining were completely clueless okay i can't speak for absolutely everybody but the people that i met they were clueless with regards to anything occult related all they originally wanted to do was to help other people they wanted to help rescue people and it honestly didn't matter uh from what background they came from but they also came in with the intention of just wanting to rescue people and Sadly, this is the way that it went. For some of the people that came into Cecilia's group that came through Know Your Enemy classes, I don't know what eventually became, a, uh, became of them. I don't know if some of them are still alive. I don't know if some of them are in hiding. I just know that they've gone silent. And I never heard about them even during investigation. But that I'll also get to on another audio. But I guess what I want to say is, to sum up Know Your Enemy in short, is that it was started with the sole and pure intention of trying to help those who want to be rescued from the occult and to help educate people to help those who want to be rescued from the occult. But it was ultimately used to be able to control people and without any direct implications leading to Cecilia if and when it ultimately went wrong.